Okay. Well, let's, take, let's take a pick real quick. Let's do it. Uh, so what are you guys going for? Gangster? Oh. Um, yeah, gangster. Let's do it. Gangster. Awesome. Let me see. Let me check it out. Yeah, let's do one more. Okay. One more? Yeah, I got my sweaty after show hair. Hey, what's up, you guys? We're hanging out with IC Stars. And I have a bit of a list today. <laughs> oh, it's the worst band name you could possibly say. <laughs> yeah, why do I have to interview fun. you guys the day I have tooth work done? I see stars. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I am doing really, really splendid. That's great. You look splendid. You look like Splenda. Sugar and sweet, but no calories. That's the shit I put in my coffee for Riz Tiz. For Riz Tiz. Well, real quick, guys, for people who have not seen an Icy Stars interview, could I have you introduce yourself and tell us your role in the band? I'm Zach, and I scream and press the keys. I'm Devin, and I do vocals. I'm Brian, and I am not in the band <laughs> yet. First question here, guys. Um, how does it feel to probably be the most beautiful men on the tour, on this Attila tour? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, we're pretty much the be most beautiful men on every tour we ever do. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's not like we're not used to it or anything. Right, right Zaggy? Oh, well, yeah. De 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 I meant to say Devin, beautiful man. I was going to be the, most, the hottest chick on the tour. It's hard, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. Both of us, man, we put our foot up on the ego riser and our cheeks are hanging down. And, you know, they're looking sculpted. Mm -hmm. I mean, our pants are pretty much spandex. They're so tight. People, people get frustrated just from the glutes, you know, and... Uh, Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, man, uh, there's, there's some erotic moments in the tour when I see guys just, like, scoping me down, and they're like, who's that guy? Who's that guy? Looking at my butt, and I'm like, whoa. Whoa. So, you know, I've been laying low this tour. Yeah, uh, what he said. <laughs> I don't you know, really know what the fuck he said. <laughs> Do you? I, Deco, Deco, I'm going to have to watch the interview to recap. <laughs> Do you guys in general have a positive or negative view of old people? Honestly, man, like, I respect the shit out of them because, like, I swear to God, those motherfuckers can play some chess. Yeah. You know? You find them, you find them in the park at the... That's why you respect them? Because they can play some chess? Yeah, not because of their wisdom or all the their time. Valiant, like, yeah, years, gladiator years of their lives. Service yeah. to our country. <laughs> Who knows what they went through in 80 years? Chess. We're only 20. I'm only That's 20 years old. Humongous spectrum. You can't really say that every single old person like that's did a, something very great for our country. It's just no. stereotype, though. Not everyone can play chess. Yeah. Not every old. No, can everybody chess. can play chess, but only Harry Potter can play wizard's chess. What person has influenced your guys' life the greatest? I have to say, uh, Sting. I mean, he writes a lot. Of, he writes a lot of songs. I mean, I never really listened to any of them, any of them but I mean, like, he did it. Like, so I respect that. You know? All right. <laughs> I don't. I'm learning more about Zach than I've ever known. Probably. Let's see. The yeah. greatest. Someone that I think is the greatest. I respect Madonna. You know? She. Obama. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Obama. I respect Obama. <laughs> Dude, he's an Obama follower. Hope you know. Well, guys, you put out a brand new album. And it is, it's New Demons, right? Yes. So I'm really tired. So okay. you guys brought a brand new album, New Demons. It is fucking awesome. Tell me about it and why is it uh, better than your previous work? Or, you know, just tell me why it's so fucking awesome. It's more serious and it's more personal. And it's actually the first album we've ever gotten very personal with. Uh, all the other albums, I mean, they're about real shit, but, you know, it wasn't necessarily... Uh, shit that was going on in our lives there's more like shit that's going on in the world you know and stuff that that happens every day in the world and that was kind of our our writing technique and this this time we were just like fourth album i think it was it was time to let the fans in on who we are as people and not and just kind of show them that we're not just the kind of band that writes about conflict we're also the kind of band that lives it if your house was on fire what's one item you guys would save Oh, my uh, photos on my external hard drive. I feel like everyone would say photos. By photos, do you mean porn? I mean, they could. There's definitely an assortment of nudes there's of all, me and probably kinds of a few other girls. Yeah. Um, there is uh, an assortment of nudes of you as well. Yeah, so yes, I'm glad you've been getting I, those. I have never respond. I have Well, yeah. some of them are just kind of really weird. I would go for my laptop and also my pup, Juno. 
Would you, I love how you put your laptop and the dog in this. Like, it's a combination. You said the laptop first. He protects the laptop first. Fuck laptop. Man. My then dog my is right there ready to bite ankles if you try to fuck with my MacBook. <laughs> That's dedication, all right? Zach, I hear you are a freak in the bedroom. I mean, you just go balls to the wall. I mean, you, you can't control yourself when that door closes. I mean... And? <laughs> is that a question? Can, can you con- <laughs> is that a question or a statement? Yeah, uh, like, can you confirm or deny? Do you want to add anything to that? Uh... I just have to say, no other person will ever find out, but I'm just saying that it may be true, or it might not be true, but... What do you think, Devin? Do you think that's true? I think that Zach just did not answer the question at all. <laughs> we, I'm literally exhausted. These two just played right, their right, set. I'll get, I'll get down to ground. I'm not gonna it lie. It may be true. It may not be true. <laughs> and I'm so. Let's I take a moment. Let's, let's take a moment. Let's take a moment. Like, no, but I for real. Lie. That's a good uh, answer. But for real, honestly, I think that everyone has their inner freak, and I'm in touch with mine. There we go. That was stern. There's an answer. That was an answer, right? Yeah, I was an I, answer. I can't really tell. I heard an answer that I time. Too. I would like you each to describe or just. Together, describe me in three words positively. Describe you? Yes. In three words positively? Or just describe me. You yes. gotta use positive words? We'll do negative after. Alright. Um, You're very colorful. Colorful. You really are. Uh, you always have so much color. I do. In three words, though. Yeah, well, just throw out some words, whatever. Alright. You said describe you in a positive way in three words. Curly. Um, Curly. Tall. Sweater, sneakers. Those aren't positive. The way the blue melts into your jeans is the exact same way your the blue in your sneakers melt into the tips. It's I know. Really, right, I'll think of some new words. Really creative. It. <laughs> it's totally planned. All right, so three words. It's okay. Three words negative. Here we go. Just let me have it. Um. Lisp. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> what are you talking about? How about you, Devin? I'm Zach, but uh, nice <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but what I'm, I have the I, have hey, the I knew words, who though. he was earlier. I have, I, have, I, have, I have the words though. I have the, I have the negative words though. Yeah, now you do definitely. Forgetful. You you terrify me. <laughs> what? Explain. Uh, just, yeah, just, Look at that. You just give me like the. With the demon's eye. Let's sing a Disney song. Which song should we sing? Uh, I'm thinking about A Whole New World by Aladdin. Okay. <laughs> Aladdin wrote it. All right. Here, how does this start? I can show you the world. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, you stupid ass bitch. <laughs> I will I rip your heart out. <laughs> I <laughs> A whole new world. A dazzling place I never knew. But now from way up here, Whoa. it's crystal clear. I don't know these words. <laughs> now I'm in, in a whole new world with you. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I read that for you? Yes. <laughs> well, obviously, a lot has changed since we talked last. Two failed marriages, the nasty divorce. What <laughs> bad are you interviewing with that opener, dude? I would walk. Oh. I would get the hell out of there. <laughs> it's a joke. And then what No album. Obviously, you guys have yeah, succeeded when her. so many fail so fucking miserably. I mean, it's like a fucking train wreck with some of these kids. And you guys just soar like eagles flying over everyone. Why? I mean, you said it. We're just, you know, we're just eagles, I guess, metaphorically speaking. We just soar. We just fly. 
and every single time someone tries to catch up, we just fly higher. You guys are you guys are louder than most bands. Yeah, like, I, like, I'm like a nighthawk. I like to fly across the sky. I mean, sometimes I go to the nest. There might be some eggs there. They might not. I might sit on them. They might hatch. Who knows? But I fly through the night and I take those rodents. And your boy eats and I eat like a king. And I'm like the nighthawk. That's why I make love to the night, baby. Has Zach ever done something that you would consider to be annoying? Uh. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> at least three times a day. Oh, damn, it's coming yeah. out now, ain't it? It's not, no, I mean like... Yeah, it, the fish lens is on your ass and now it's coming out. Okay, motherfucker. He does, he does these things towards the end of the night where he just starts yelling a lot. And, I don't know, I'll be on the phone or something and he's just screaming. And then another thing, he just walks around the bus butt-ass naked every single morning. Dude, you should Zach, be what, glad what, that what, I conditioned my screams well, what son. What the fuck? Zach, do you think pigeons have feelings? I think they do. I think that's. I think that pigeons, honestly, in the naturistic <laughs> world, I think that they're kind of kings because they shit on everything. I was about to say, I think they have feelings, but I just think they're a bunch of assholes. <laughs> you know, like, they're the kings of the world. They shit on fucking statues that motherfuckers took years to make. Shit on fucking your car, your fucking Maserati, fucking whatever. Your Orville Redenbacher's open bag of popcorn shit in that. And they're never, they shit they're on never held accountable. And because they're fucking flying in the sky. Yeah. They're, they're just high. like night hot. They're, they're, always they're just like the night hot. <laughs> they fly, baby. I mean, they, they're shitting on shit and they're flying, baby. Like, you know? I just like dozed off for like the last five seconds. <laughs> Five, ten seconds. I'm like so out of it that sometimes you also start talking and I don't even I'm process. Sorry, are we boring? No, 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 no. Are we boring? You need to stop popping those, you not... stop popping those loops Wait, before yeah, the I've been up oh, since 7 a.m. I had tooth work <laughs> done today. I went to the fucking dentist. Yeah? Believe it or not. Oh, you got, you got some nitrous in your system, huh? Yeah, I don't know if you believe it, but I went to the dentist today. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously. Brian? <laughs> I'm gonna have to leave you with Zach because I gotta sign you and get a deal since the show's over with. The show just ends? The show just ends. Okay, I'll finish it. My I'm gonna let better. Zach I'm finish it. <laughs> but fans of Icy Stars, take maybe 25% of what Zach says to heart. And take. Shit is true. This is called Uber Facts. I'm just gonna read you some random facts and I'd like to hear your input on them. Okay. <clears throat> Fact number one. I was gonna burp, it didn't come out. Single women tend to be more attracted to men who are taken rather than available. Shit is real. <laughs> number question number two. People with small brain brains are less likely to have friends. <laughs> no comment. During the Middle Ages, Talkative women. <laughs> you never get this one out. During the Middle Ages, talkative women were punished by being. Do you want me to read it? No, that's funny. During the Middle Ages, talkative women were punished by being forced to wear metal cages on their heads. <laughs> on their asses? <laughs> on their heads? <laughs> on their. <laughs> on their heads. On their heads. On their asses. <laughs> I'd have to say that that reminds me of the Capcom character Vega from Street Fighter. <laughs> South Korea is known to occasionally blast K-pop music in North Korea. Gay pop music or K-pop? <laughs> K-pop. Dude, I'm kind of fucking deaf, dog. You need to speak up. Gay pop music. Gay pop. No, K-pop, not gay pop. Gay pop. K-pop. Gay pop. No, K-pop. K-pop. What is K-pop? Like Korean. It's like Korean B pop. Yeah. Like, like Gangnam Style. Yeah, that's the kind of shit. Yeah. Just Dude. randomly, I guess, for no reason. Gangnam Style was dope, and I guarantee you that motherfucker can ride the shit out of a horse. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed our interview with my favorite member of IC Stars, <laughs> Zachy J. Bitch. Some people like to leave the interview halfway through because I guess they want to, you know, go do other things. Yeah, you know, it's like being but. Crazy. Real friends stick together, you know? They just do. Let's pretend we saw the, the One Direction movie together, me and you, because Devin ditched us. <laughs> ditched, seriously? <laughs> yep. 
And uh, yeah, let's fucking do it, all right? Fuck yes. On the count of three, one. Oh yeah, we just, uh, we're actually, we're, yeah, let's just make our happy, like, get silly girl face. On the count of three, ready? On the count of three, thanks guys. One direction pose. One, two, three. That's what makes you beautiful. Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Come with me behind the scenes, backstage, and onto the tour bus to meet your favorite stars. Hey, what's up you guys? We're hanging out here with Asking Alexandria, the very tired all-time low. You're hanging out here with Black Veil Brides. I'll ask questions you've never heard before and get you the answers you won't find anywhere else. You said you're a Justin Timberlake fan. No. No? No. I mean, that wasn't you? Oh my god, I shouldn't have smoked all that weed. How long is this nose you have here? I have no idea. Happy so birthday, dear Bri. I am a ninja. We need to know. Oh. If you were a porn star, what would your name be? Mine would definitely just be the Jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Our new song, you know, right? Uh, party like it's. Oh, God, oh, God. Like my balls, yeah. You guys see my balls? You know, and they're like, wee! <gasps> All right. <laughs> I'm like crying. He's crying. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for brand new videos every day. Reporting for YouTube, I'm Brian Stars. Brian Stars! Brian Stars! I'm the reason you're, you go on tour. You're the reason I'm here, baby.